The defense secretary reinforced the president's warning today. David Martin has more at the Pentagon. Defense Secretary Mattis bluntly warned North Korea to cease any consideration of actions that would lead to the end of its regime and the destruction of its people. That doomsday warning came a day after North Korea threatened to rain nuclear missiles on the American air base on the Pacific island of Guam. The governor of Guam tried to assure residents the island is American territory and will be protected by the American military. I've reached out to the White House this morning. An attack or threat on Guam is a threat or attack on the United States. North Korea made the threat after B-1 bombers had flown from Guam over the Korean peninsula in what has become a standard show of force in response to North Korea's missile tests. Returning from Asia, Secretary of State Tillerson was asked if Americans should be worried. I think Americans should sleep well at night. Mattis issued his warning shortly before touring the USS Kentucky, a ballistic missile submarine which by itself could annihilate North Korea. Last summer, 60 Minutes went aboard the Kentucky on patrol in the Pacific. It can carry almost 200 nuclear warheads atop the missiles loaded beneath those hatches. Commander Brian Freck was the captain. The warheads that can be carried on my missiles are extremely powerful. And compare them to the bomb that leveled Hiroshima. Much more powerful than, than that. Much more powerful than Hiroshima. And on any given day, several of these submarines are hiding somewhere in the world's oceans. Chief of the Law, sound the general alarm. Sound the general alarm, right, sir. I have permission to fire. Convo inside. Drilling to respond to a launch order from the president. Pentagon officials say no new military orders have been issued despite the warlike rhetoric on both sides, but they warn tensions are likely to remain high since the U.S. is scheduled to conduct an annual military exercise in South Korea later this month. Anthony? David Martin at the Pentagon. Thanks, David.